We are starting off today with a very big congratulations to a local nonprofit organization. Black Art Speaks has received the organization award from the Ohio Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Commission. So this award is for successfully bringing people from diverse backgrounds together mm -hmm. to build a better community and advance equity. That's right. And what better way to celebrate than on this special day with Alandis Powell, the co-founder and executive director of Black Art Speaks, and Annie Ruth, an inspirational artist well known in the community and an advocate. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to have you here. This must be quite an honor to receive. What was your reaction when you found out? Because I know I think you called me or texted yeah. me or something. I did text you. I was so excited. You know how a lot of awards they say you can't tell anyone and I'm like, mm -hmm. how can I do that? We have a hundred <laughs> people because this was an organization award and they said you can tell them we're going to release it today. So I was like, oh my God, yeah. how do I tell everyone? And I was just really excited, especially knowing that um, someone from our board, Eddie, Hawkins actually nominated us and Paul Booth actually told him about it. So it just felt good. That's awesome. It's incredible. For yeah, people yeah. who are watching right now, they might be unfamiliar with Black Art Speaks. What is it? Um, it is an arts collective made up of a number of artists. It started off 17. We're almost to over 100 now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, the great thing, too, is that it has artists from different backgrounds. Um, in different fields from musicians. It started off with visual artists, but now we've incorporated photographers, physicians, dancers, actors, and it's just an awesome collective. And it, wow. Anna, you have so many, so many people, talented people on your team. What is it like for them? What does it mean to you? What is it like for them? I mean, everybody has to be so excited. You know, actually getting an award that's named in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, and the legacy that he established is really an inspiration to all of us to continue that legacy and continue to pass it on down through the generations, through mentoring and bringing other artists in as well. Absolutely. Wow. So when you talk about all the art that you've worked on, all the different projects, is there a favorite that stands out? Oh my goodness, I, I love the initial project because when we, we did the mural, um, it brought in volunteers and people from all walks of life. So it was more than just artists. There were youth, there were um, corporations and businesses and just volunteers off the street who dived in to paint the mural. So that'll always have a fond memory in my heart. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and Alanis, this is your vision, your baby. How, what is it like to have this happen? What is the impact on the organization? Um, the award itself, I think going back to what Annie said, like anytime you say that you are living um, and your organization is living what the dream was of yeah. Dr. King, you can't mm -hmm. help but like have those moments where, oh my God, we're doing yeah. something right. that he would have wanted us to do and we're following in some of his footsteps. That means a whole lot. But this yeah. is your vision, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'll say it's my vision now. I kind of <laughs> fell into it. You know, most people know I'm not an artist, but social justice has always been something yeah. important to me in everything I did and being able to do it through the beauty of art yeah. is what's making it. Every day it becomes a larger vision for me, but I never thought I'd be here. So ever. certainly uh, the award is, is very incredible, but I know you're not going to rest on your laurels. What What is coming up in the year ahead? What oh. do you have planned? So I'll say the year ahead, we're focused on partnerships, mm -hmm. on really finding people already fighting social justice that just needs an art flavor to mm -hmm. calm the voices so people can listen. So we're doing that. But then we also have some really great projects. We're standing up the letter R. Yes, yeah, standing up yeah. the letter R in, oh. Ro in Rose Live. Yes. Yeah, okay. and it's all about community engagement, connecting with the community councils and the community organizations, and really giving the, the neighborhoods a sense of pride and um, collectiveness. Yeah, because it, it is all about community in the end, right? Yes. You want to make sure that they're drawn in. If somebody is interested in Black Art Speaks, what should they do? Uh, go to www.blackartspeaks.com and it'll tell you all about us. Awesome. You and you're still message. looking for artists maybe to we join We look for team? artists all the time. Like we just signed um, a group of Cincinnati Ballet oh, folks. Nice. So now we're into dance and I can't dance either. <laughs> but we're into that too. So every, you know, we're just, if, if you're interested in volunteering or whatever, just come and hang out with us. All right. All right. Yes. Atlantis, Annie, yes. congratulations again, and thank yes. you both for being here with us today. You're so welcome. It. Good luck. Thank you.